You know, talk loud. You know, so the people can hear you. When the Lord spoke, oh shit, the man, the people were sleeping. The people were sleeping, laying down in valleys on the bruised grass, listening to the Lord, waiting in line, waiting for the Lord to feed the fish. Yep. <laughs> That's the only time people are listening to you is when you're giving something away for free. Right, right. I mean, we are giving something away for free. We're giving out these uh these, ru wisdom. these rubies and these pearls and wisdom. Gold. This, gold. this gold and silver. Gold. They, they can't be they can't how you say it? they can't they can't be cankered. <laughs> <laughs> oh go ahead. So, Jeremiah 1 and 17, thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, we shall confound them before them. Deep before them, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This is Jeremiah 1 and 17. Thou therefore burn up thy horns and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces. And they just made up their heart. And he said, Don't be dismayed at their faces. Because a lot of people get offended by hearing the truth. And these lords said, Don't be dismayed at their faces. You know, they come at you growling, slobbering, like people came literally, literally. Drooling. They're trying to fight you over this thing. Pulling out their dicks and jacking off and shit. Uh, we we've had seen demons, that. literally demons. Yeah, we've seen that. Just from oh, reading the Bible. So don't be smayed at these wicked ass demons' faces, man, because they ain't one of them growing hot air. Start making death threats. But the beautiful thing yes. is, man, they put your hand on us, man. The Lord got a way of giving people a spiritual ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It turns <laughs> physical. <laughs> uh -oh. No, real. no, because we don't see people to mess with us drop dead. <laughs> That's what I was just about to say. I get upset when people mess with me because I be like, oh, you don't get it. 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 You don't get yeah you, yeah, you ain't getting over that wall. This is the fortress that's being built. The fortress of solitude. Yeah. First, you got to get over that moat. That moat got alligators, crocodiles. That moat in their eyes. You got oh, yeah. That moat. <laughs> For real. For real, man. For real, real. That's why. This is real. This is a real spiritual thing going on. It really is. Hey, the funniest thing, too, is that it's not even just in our minds, but every time everybody wants to shout at the title, they try to challenge the truth. That we always win. I mean, I'm not just bragging or nothing. I am bragging, though. You got bragging you, rights. No, for real, though, it's like, it's, it's amazing. Tell it how it is. Tell it how it is. I could bring up footage going back almost 10 years of times people would come up here, you know, and we just shut them down. We weren't at OSU. Yeah. We had scholars and professors like, that throwing right, the flag. That builds my faith up, you know? Right. That, that makes me, oh, I'm, until y'all show me something, and until y'all can just prove this, I'm going I'm to keep believing it. You know, ain't it? Yeah. I believe it. I think we all did and did and did yeah. looking. Yeah. Gotcha. When, when it, it lined up with science to me, I just believe. It is science. Yeah. Well, you know the word science just means knowledge. Right. So, the whole, the field of science, science, what they call science, that's always changing anyways, you know. Because that's just their understanding of the world. And every, every year, year, every other year, there's a new textbook coming out. Right. Oh, I mean, we study knowledge. I mean, we study all that stuff. We study chemistry, biology, all that. Right. Check it out. Those textbooks that's coming from the suburbs, they come from here. After they go. Oh, right. yeah. They get here and come down to the back to the you know.
That shit is trash now, textbooks. You don't need that. Wikipedia? Yeah, you got Wikipedia. You don't need that shit. I got a cell phone. I don't see how people learn. School, school is like, that shit is obsolete. Cause you know why they gotta have them schools to keep to keep these people in check. They got that's how you breed that slave mentality is with the school system. That's how they teach our children to be slaves. They teach them to you know make sure you pay your taxes. And, yeah. And it really, you think about it. School is get ch preparing your child for slavery because they force your children to wake up at what seven in the damn morning. <laughs> Leave your house all day long. It's, they're pretty much going to work every day as children. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. That's like, that's a lifetime of slavery. Right. Waiting all of our children. Waiting on the bus. Yeah, waiting on the bus. Yeah, all, just what, what a big waste of time. A, a child is supposed to be enjoying their childhood, going on a little adventure, yeah. yeah. playing with bows and arrows. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. Playing with toys, video right. games. Right. Not going to no goddamn school. Yeah, roll call. Like you get the job, you gotta clock in. Yeah, the same thing, yeah. Here, oh, what happens if you're not there? Oh, you get in trouble. You gotta get in trouble. That's why I never understood suspension. It's like, oh, I got suspended? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Fuck, I can go home? Fuck, about time. I, you know, Drake get happy to get suspended. You get in a fight on purpose. I finally got suspended on you. Damn, he's a good student. Oh yeah, I used to skip school a lot. My school was so bad, I just skipped school. I was supposed to let the motherfucker beat my ass. Right. Hey, that's true. We went to school back in the gangster days. Maybe because these schools are soft nowadays. Yeah, but everybody was strapped in my school. That shit was all about survival. You be better. That's why I just skipped school. I, we skipped school. We didn't go to school. But I've skipped school and still passed and still graduated. You go skip school, go get a 40, a blunt. You learn more doing that than going to the class. We go home and watch a documentary on the Discovery Channel, skipping school. You know what I mean? I, I remember doing shit like that, man. It's like I actually learned I more. Was I actually learned more skipping. Oh, yeah. Maybe you kind of do, don't you? That's their cousin. Durrell. Yeah, where you at, Dur Durrell? Where you at, Durrell? Like, we ain't know that you wasn't out here. Like, we didn't notice that you was gone. You know? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> he thought he right. snuck out on him. I'm about to hit him up, man. Yeah. I still talk to him sometimes. Yeah, I talk to him a couple weeks ago. He's got his little car. He's just trying to talk to him. Stay by the freeway on 7. Oh, he left that woman? Yeah. Oh, he might be ready to get back in the truck now. Get that ready, that woman. Hey, that's how we do it over here. We, we if you want to join us, you gotta leave your woman. It's like, uh, get rid of that bitch. You know, you know, haters. They make videos. Right. Hey, sometimes that bitch is your worst enemy. Who was we at? I don't even remember. I have no idea. That's all right, man. He's just in the spirit. Oh, it's not facing towards me. Oh, don't worry about it. It ain't on you. It can't even reach out. Mercy. I don't want to break my camera. Lord. I can record you. I can't record What's that? I can record. You should record it. I can. What about those cameras up there? I can record those too. Why don't you record those ones first? Because if I don't put, because if I don't. You know, the Coda bus got a camera on that too, right? So you just worried about us, though. But you're not worried about everybody else. Yes, I am. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, because she, she, despise, she despises that Bible. That's why. What did we say? I got a scripture for you. What did you say about my Bible? No, you said you said something. It was because I... Uh,
Yes, I have. I don't remember. You sure it was us? Oh, sorry. Yes. And when you're on public, though, the law, you can have cameras in public. There's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Right. Well, I apologize. I, I try not to put it on you. We don't intentionally put you on there or nothing like that. <laughs> well, I'm not being a it is what it is, but we got to continue with our lesson. I know. I know. I know. One thing, at least I can say, is I don't think it was like the other guy. Oh, that's right. Alright, let's get back to the script. Oh, I'll take it. 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 I'll I am really mean, mean with you now. No, she be nice to us now. She hated us now. I've been known to knock the shit out of I've been known to knock the shit out of That's how you gotta do it, my girl. Be nice to them, then they fucking leave your ass. You gotta put the fear in them. I'm not leaving you. Fucking kill me. That's really what you gotta do, actually. That's really what you gotta do. That's what they lack. They feed them. They lack their feet. I think you're right about that. For real. Get out, baby. Come on, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta have that talk. I've always noticed it's the men that beat the shit out of their women. I'm not telling nobody to beat nobody, but hey, <laughs> that motherfucker, that marriage is last. They be married forever. Go do some shit, man. Yeah. Go do some shit, man. Go do some shit. Man. It's always that little soft ass, you know, weak ass guy. You know, he's all nice to the woman. Man, that marriage lasts a year, two years. He's that man that take charge of shit. He's the one that keep that long lasting marriage. That's right. That's right. Ezekiel 2 and 1, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. Oh, yeah, so Israel definitely rebelled against the Most High. That's why everybody, you know, they got a problem with us. Here, go help me. What's help good? me. What's up, my coat? Here, guys. Y'all scared. I'll help you out. Yeah, help I, me. I got you. Can I help my coat? Uh oh, and my scarf. Get that scarf. Right 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 okay. Go get that right there. Got her garment. <laughs> got her garment. Got her garment. Oh, you want to zip it? Is that too oh, long? Oh, oh, sorry. Want to zip it up, Frank? You all right? Use the button. My knee, my knee. Oh, you ain't got a knee brace on? No, no, I have a knee. You can get one with the metal on the side, so it gives you more stability. Like the knee goes down. That's why my knee is hurting. That's why I'm in the pain. Oh, we got you. Okay, thank you, young man. Oh, yeah, we got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God yeah. bless y'all. Oh, yeah, all right, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, well, Karen, I was like, hey, I'm, hey, we're, we're assholes, right? I'm about to cop. Well, I was like, just think, I might shit catch me a little field. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just joking. Is that... <laughs> I know that's why we was all scared to do it at first, because that's kind of like, you know, an elderly Because you, you, you don't know how these people are going to come at you. Yeah. My coat, but she was trying to scream, Oh, he's trying to break me. Yeah, because. You don't know, man. She messed up, though. She had, she really struggling getting down we the street. Her, I see her really She all messed up. And I said, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this day. Oh, they they and their fathers have transgressed. Oh, that's why we get on people all the time. Like, we all celebrate Christmas and Easter, eating poke. They be like, well, that's the way I was raised. Like, you too good? You different than me? That's why my family do me. Oh, you was raised different than us, huh? That's why what that scripture say? You and your fathers. So, but yeah, that's the way you was raised because your fathers was wicked too. Your mother was wicked. They taught you the wrong shit. Even unto this very day. Even unto this very day. So, this is a genera generational, generations and generations of wickedness among our people. The, the reason we fucking, the reason that we believe uh, uh, was being wicked is because our parents was being wicked. Yeah, that's a perfect way to say it. Breaking that cycle. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, because we was raised, bro. I was raised up. I think the main thing they fed us when we was growing up was pork, bacon, 
ham, ham sandwiches. When you want to eat ham sandwiches, you eat bacon. When you ain't eating bacon, you eating bologna. Yesterday, my mom was surprised I don't eat crayfish. Ugh. Yesterday. You gotta be out some fucking mo- I mean, how? It looks like a goddamn alien. It's a roach, man. A right, roach. Right, right. That looks like some out of a horror movie. You gonna roach put that in your sea. mouth? Roach of the sea. You know? This goof. This goof. <laughs> it is derped out. This goof. Yeah. Um, verse 4. For they are imprudent children and skip on them. Oh, they imprudent. We looked that up a billion times. Impute, that pretty much means they're dumb, retarded. It means they ain't got no, uh, they don't listen. They're hard headed, you know. <laughs> what scripture is that? What are you at? Uh, it's Ezekiel 2. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel 2. Yeah, that's Ezekiel 2. Does that, One, two, and three. does that really tell you what you're going to run into when you go out here teaching? You're going to run into a bunch of assholes. But you can't be afraid of these people. They all bark and no bite. For they are truly stiff on I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord power. Thus said the Lord power. Why don't you don't pay, motherfucker? You're going to be strong. Thus said the Lord power. You change your wicked ways. Um, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Yeah, so we're supposed to teach people whether they listen or not. Because most of them, we already know they're not going to listen. So that, that tells you how stiff-headed we are, mm. stiff-necked we are, you know, mm. for this truth. Mm. For the truth's sake, we, you know, mm. we, uh, what's that word, uh, what's that fucking word when you fucking, uh, pr- not proud, but fucking stubborn. Yeah, we're stubborn for this truth. You know, we, we come out here week in and week out, nobody listening, we still coming out here. Still coming out here, you know? Man, we ain't got a new member to the camp in a long time. The last guy we got was this guy. That was going on two, three years. Thug Love came in and out. Oh, yeah, he was in and out. Thug Love came and, came and went. <laughs> Thug Love. So. Thug Love was first, man. We got two. I mean, for his truth. <laughs> for his truth. And he had a totally different mindset when he came to this man. He had a, his thinking was uh, that revolution on the television. I mean, well, fuck, man. We are revolutionaries, just not, <laughs> we're just spiritually, though. Yeah. Well, we, well, we ain't on that carnal shit, yeah, you know. Shit. We just stay, stay spiritual. Yeah. We ain't on no fucking, uh, well, the old Black Panther. With, what was Tupac Shakur's, uh, what's that? <laughs> his aunt is locked down in Cuba <laughs> for blowing up some shit. We ain't on no shit like that, man. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to hit y'all with something. Because, you know, a lot of these camps, they got agents in these camps, man. Yes, they do. You can believe that. Big massive camps. Got to. There's some massive ass camps. I'll be watching everybody. I don't trust nobody. That's crazy, man. There's some massive camps. You you got people out here listening and watching and waiting for you to say something about some violence. And listening. They waiting for you to say that you want to go hurt somebody. They'll, they'll try to help. I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go do that. They'll set your ass up. It's like dude said, let's go blow up some churches. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? That's crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? And it was serious. That ain't, ain't, I mean, dude, killing people and blowing shit up, that don't do nothing. That ain't a lot. It doesn't even help do nothing for nothing. It accomplishes nothing except for you put some smoke in the air. Yeah, you made the news. Yeah, they don't even accomplish nothing at all. So actually, what we're gonna do is gonna bur- fuck that. We're gonna burn down that that, that church that's in their mind. We're gonna burn that to the ground. Cause cause that 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 mental church is more powerful than the physical one. So all that little bullshit thoughts and everything they got going on in their mind, that's what we're gonna burn and destroy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what you really gotta do. Well, it's fine. They whether they were here or whether they were for here. Yet shall know, yet shall know that there have been a problem. Oh yeah, they they gonna know that. Hey, you know a lot of times too. Like uh, I remember I was t- schooling some people on some knowledge going back like five, six, seven years ago. 
And then five, six, seven years later, they be like, oh, man, all that stuff he was telling me was coming true. He's like, you told me about this, this, and that. You know, I forget with the school shooting. And I told him there's going to be more. You know how we do it. We just predict everything. We ain't predicting nothing. We just see the clouds in the sky and we tell, oh, it's about to rain. We just tell you. But, you know, that's why people know that, you know, they, they, you won't know that we're some prophets, man. Because everything we say is coming true. Go ahead. Jeremiah 11 and uh, 7. For I earnestly protested against your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice, yet they obeyed not. No one climbed their air, but walked everyone in imagination of their own evil heart. Damn, that's, that's Ezra right there. They walking after their own evil heart. They going to follow their, their heart, say. Yeah, that's, a, that's the spirit of America. That is the spirit. The American spirit is to follow your own heart. Go ahead. He said, and how it said unto me, oh, it's like I skipped the verse. Uh, Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant which I have commanded them to do. But they did not, they did, it's like, but they did them not. And how it said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the children of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the, this is going back to you because I know you're very son about the forefathers of yeah, they even worse. Yeah. It says they are turned back to the iniquity of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve to serve to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which yeah, I right. gave to And you do that like when you celebrate Christmas, you're serving another God. That's part of Baal worship. When you celebrate Easter, you're serving another God. That's uh, Ishtar worship. Easter, Ishtar. You know, and our, and our, our fathers been it. They was doing it 2,000, 3,000 years ago. And it wasn't right then and it ain't right now. You know? There ain't nothing new under the sun. All this Christmas shit is ancient. You know? That Easter shit is ancient. It goes all the way back to the ancient world. Like I ain't watching, they stuck on that fire. You saw down the Saturday, you saw down the shit. They still on that shit? They still on that shit. But he'll, they'll say the new moon's the full moon, though. That doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't even watch their videos. I don't watch that trash. That's their Passover. The same day, do the same shit that Amalek does. Same shit. They set up anyway. You talking about some agents? Some motherfuckers are actual detectives. That, that qualifies as an agent, a super duper agent. That's like as big as an agent you could ever possibly be. They don't qualify for an agent. I don't know what the fuck does. I mean, it's just one step shy from he's an actual FBI. Oh, he's not FBI. He's just NYPD, that's, that's all. He yeah, he, he's probably FBI. He's probably <laughs> next. He's probably going to school that's for it. That's the next step, yeah. yeah. You, I think, what, what do you need to be the FBI? You got to get a bachelor's or something? Don't you just pass a test? Well, you got to go to the school, college. You got to have a degree. I'm sure, well, I'm sure. No, I wouldn't know because I ain't never gonna do that shit. Well, the cop ain't got one got a college. Nah, a cop ain't got to. Yeah. FBI is different man. though. I don't know. I think you probably do some miraculous shit on the streets. Probably yeah, oh yeah, get that field. Know, but some people just get promoted. Get that field promotion. Right. They do that. Uh, yeah, if you a bad boy or whatever. No, they do this shit. Had to be. He, he probably can just pay for his FBI license. <laughs> he got that he got that Denzel Washington training day spirit. <laughs> It looked like Denzel. They had an IUIC movie. They gonna have Denzel play uh, oh, play your boy. You're right, Denzel be playing out. Denzel Because Denzel, they got they both sellouts. They got a lot of common. You know, yeah. all them hot, all them actors is all sellouts. Nasty thing. Oh, talking about some actors and stuff. Man, I was watching videos on uh, who was it? Oh, Dick Gregory. Oh, that's a whole nother world. Well, I don't want to talk about Dick Gregory. I've been talking all day. Yeah, it was Dick Gregory. Oh, shit, that threw me off track. But Dick Gregory said Michael Jackson got killed by a laser beam. I heard that. I'm thinking it's true. I, I got to hear the speech. I got to no, hear it, though, man. No, I was watching Woo. a lot of his videos right before he died, right? Right. Because he was going in on some shit. I'm like, he said he was, he was with Michael Jackson right before he died. So he said he knew that they killed him with a laser. 
And the mother do try to correct him. He's like, mother, mother, motherfucker, I told you he was killed by a goddamn laser. He cussed at that. Wow. He cussed out the interview. He was abusing the interviewer. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, I was, I was watching something. I see my dude, though. He's all right, man. Yeah, yeah, Dick Gregory. I, I, I fucks with some Dick Gregory. You know, you know. Dick Gregory. Because at first, all I knew about it was what they showed on TV. They make it look like an asshole. But you watch his videos and his speeches. Run, girl. Run, girl. Damn. I look like I could do some training with you. Shit, I shake your ass up. It's pretty tough. Hell, yeah. Never done. Oh, what was I thinking, though? Yeah, that, that bitch threw me on track. <laughs> I, ha I had a good point to make on something somewhere. Dick I, Gregory, I ain't Dick, even worried about it Dick. no more. That's some kind of conspiracy theory or something. Oh, we was talking about movies and actors, about how that shit's all set up. Now, I was listening to a, uh, a little interview and stuff by Ice Cube. You know what Ice Cube is, right? It's I yeah, Ice Cube. He started in the, well, one of the founding fathers of NWA and all that. <laughs> that sounded good. He's one of the founding fathers. <laughs> <laughs> he is though. He's like the George Washington of gangster rap. It's like uh. uh that era when that shit hit, man, that shit was. Cool. That that's a bad Fire. shit, boy. Man, man, he was talking about the Illuminati and stuff, and he was saying that yeah, he sees that shit, and there's all number secret society. He claims he never joined them, but he kept saying I'm not really down with them. He kept saying I'm not really down. Maybe he is. I don't know. Of course you. But he was saying yeah, that shit's real. He said out there, you know, the Hollywood the music industry, that shit is real. You got to be part of the secret society. Jake got a conscience, so they got to speak a little something. Yeah. To ease that wicked ass conscience in there. All that evil shit they done behind closed doors, they got to speak something just to feel good. Man. And I was listening to it. Oh, that's that demon. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else who I was listening to was saying the same thing about that shit is real. It was in the industry. It was something. My mom said my brother showed up at the crib a couple of days ago. And she said his head, he kept doing it. Damn, it was like a bobble head? And she said, get out, get out of here. <laughs> she threw him out the house, man. You see, she said she's acting like a demon. He had demons on you know? him. Hey. Hey, man, them demons is real, man. Yeah, hey, that's that shit spirit. real. Because I was, I was listening to a, I listened to an audio Bible. I was listening to the Legion that's story. That's real. Right before we came out here. That demon shit's some real shit, man. You know they got a Denzel Washington audio Bible? For real? You gotta pay for it though. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that one, man. I have to. He got a smooth voice. I gotta get it, man. They got a Denzel Washington audio Bible. I like I can't that. Wait to hear. They don't give you no sample though, man. That's why I hate it. Man. They should give you so you can hear it. I like that Alexander Scorby Bible. Or what is that? Or I like to find one with a good woman's voice too. Sometimes that's hard to find. So they try to put it on when you go to sleep or something? Yeah, try to soothe it. Yeah. yeah. And there's a couple on the apocrypha with women doing it. That's wow. all right. I was... <laughs> that's like in the kingdom. I was watching... Y'all seen this movie? It's called A Night with the King. It's a good movie. It's about the story of Esther. The book of Esther. The king. It's about uh, the, the king of Persia and Esther. It's a good... It's a recent Bible movie. But it showed... I think... It, what, King was at first. Was that Darius? Not Darius. Or during the book of Esther, was that Xerxes? Was it Darius? Yeah. I think it was. I can't remember. Yeah, it, was it Xerxes? Artie Xerxes? No, yeah, it was Xerxes. His real name is Xerxes, I think. That's Xerxes. Possible. Yeah, okay. Was well, Esther? Yeah. Well, anyway, it was just so that. Like when the king, he had a bunch of readers, a bunch of female readers on deck for him. So when at night time we go to sleep and lay it down, he had readers. That was their job, was to read their chronicles of the kings or whatever, and, and read, read to him why that was his servant. So in the kingdom, I'm gonna have that, bro. I'm gonna have it. You know, I do audio bibles now in the kingdom. I'm gonna have you some real servants reading for me. You know, while I'm trying to meditate. The king has her soul. At his source? That's probably Xerxes. I don't know. I think that's Xerxes. Yeah, Xerxes. But yeah, if you watch that movie, it's called A Night with the King. That's a good movie. And the girl even got an uh, actual Jewish girl. It could be a Jake, though, that played uh, your girl. You know, Edomite playing her. She's fine as a motherfucker, though. You gotta watch that movie. And it's got your boy from Indiana Jones in it. That's a demon. 
I thought it was in the movie. I didn't know it was actually. I tell you, I'm slacking on my Esther.